The parabola is a special type of a graph. The parabola is a turning point, but here we don't have a turning point. We are at the hyperbola. How to find the coordinates of the turning point of a parabola? You use x equals to minus b over 2a. This will give you the value of x at the turning point. What is b? The coefficient of x. What is a? The leading coefficient. Those of you as a as the calculus, they will say, to find the coordinates of the turning point, no one going to the graph, you work out the derivative and equate it to zero and solve for x. That is still correct again. Once you have your intercept, you have your turning points, you are then able to sketch the graph. As long as you understand this one, if you my bracket, you must understand the meaning of these two brackets. This bracket means negative 4 is a solution. This bracket here, in going at it square, means 6 is a solution. You must be able to move from this form to this form by completing the square. What are the coordinates of the turning point then? According to this standard form, there will be negative P and what? And the Q. This graph will have the turning point where it's negative 3 and the negative 6. Why am I having a negative 3? Because you take whatever is inside the bracket equal to 0, find x, and then x will be a negative 3. The y value, you take this y as it is to give you the y value at the turning point. The only thing that you'll have to calculate if it's given in that form are your intercepts, your x intercept as well as your y intercept. Action G, your x intercept, y is 0. My y intercept, x is Gapamban. x intercept, y is 0. y intercept, x is 0. I look like cool. Now, um, we we hyperbola na corner. We have the axis of the symmetry. See, so, you want an axis of symmetry. Remember, the axis of the symmetry tries to divide your graph into two equal halves. It means here, the axis of the symmetry will be the x value, the turning point. It means this x equal to minus p is my axis of the symmetry. This x equal to minus p over 2a is the axis of the symmetry. So if they say to you, write down the equation of the axis of the symmetry, you go to the graph, up, check the turning point. What is the turning point? What is the x value there? If x is 4, then x equal to 4 is the x value at the turning point.